Hello everybody, my name is Alan I'm from Sauber Lab, and today I will show another video about uh, Oracle Cloud. In this video, I will show how you can install your WordPress in one of instance of the Oracle Cloud. In this installation, we will follow the Docker installation. My idea is to have one container that have the WordPress, another container that have the proxy manager, another container that will be manage the Cloudflare, in this case I will install the Cloudflare, and in this way you can have more than one container, so you don't need to dedicate this machine specifically for the WordPress, but you can have a, a WordPress install with plus some other applications. If you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, we're gonna show in this video, but first of all, don't forget to leave your like, subscribe for the channel, and let's do it. Before we start to do any installation, go through anything, we need to understand what we need to have. First of all, you always have the option to come here and put deploy the WordPress website where they're gonna do the installation for everything for you. But I don't like this idea because I don't want to lose the control of my machine. Basically, they will create an instance in this case that have already the WordPress install. But why we cannot install a different machine that will have a separate WordPress and everything? It's a good idea, so we're gonna do it this way. In this way, we need to go for create a virtual machine. The virtual machine that we're gonna create will follow the follow step. First of all, we need to define what operating system that you're gonna run. I can run this virtual machine in Oracle Linux, yes, but in this case, I would like to run in Ubuntu. So I come here, change image, and I select Ubuntu image. Have selected the Ubuntu image, I will put select, enter, and now I have the Ubuntu image running. What else I need to do? I can find what kind of uh, machine that I want to run. In this ADM machine, I have only one vCore, one gigabyte of run, and uh, 048 gigabytes of uh, internet. But it's not good enough for what I need. So I can come here, put change shape. I can come here, ampere, and I can select it. Remember, if you get this free option, you can have up to four cores and 24 gigabytes of run, so it's quite well. And in this option as well, we have a four gigabit pass. Because I will produce a WordPress with low traffic, I don't need to have a four cores. I can have only one and will work quite well. Have this one, I will put select shape. I will go down and now I can select what kind of network that are gonna work. In this case, I will leave the standard one where I have all my virtual machines. I need to download my private key and my public key principally my private key, otherwise you cannot access you through the SSH, and I will put encrypt, and I create the image. Here in my image, I already have all my information, I already have my IP address, my user, because I'm using a Ubuntu account, so it's not anymore OPC user, it will be Ubuntu user. As well, here it's my internal network, and here all the information that I have. Here it's because I just installed the machine, so they will have uh, only the installation period and after this one they will not have anything because it's a fresh install. What we need to do is come here in my virtual cloud network and open some ports. Uh, the ports that I will need to open is port 8.1, 8 and 443, where I will install the uh, proxy manager and will manage these ports. As well, I will need to go to the port 8000, where we'll have the WordPress and the port 9000 where will be the portrait. After you do all the installation, you can close some ports because it's not necessary to leave all those open, but in the first step, you need to have this because you need to configure your portrait, you need to configure your WordPress, you need to configure your uh, proxy manager, so you're gonna need those ports. Have this one in mind, first thing that we're gonna do is open our Putin. Here our putter already logged in with Ubuntu, and if you don't know how to open the put and configure it to your SSH to access it with your private key, don't forget to look the video before, I will leave in the description this video. You can look this video and try to understand some points that I didn't explain this video, look like how you can configure the port fordings and how you can uh, configure your public key to access for through the put. Have everything in mind, now we need to start to do our installation. To do our installation, first thing that we're gonna do is log in as a root. So we're gonna put sudo so. And now we are root, we can go out for any folder and now we are in the root, in the basic folder for our system. Now we need to update our system. So we're gonna get apt get 
update and we're gonna run it because I already run it before it's really fast but maybe it will take a little bit longer for you now the next step we need to upgrade our system so we're gonna do exactly the same step apt get upgrade wonderful they upgrade our system now what's the next step we don't have anything installed, so we need to install the Docker. In the Docker, we can start to, to install the portrait to manage our application, we can start to install the proxy manager, and we can install the uh, WordPress. In order to install the Docker, we first need to install some applications, it will be these ones. sudo apt install CA certification, core, gtpg, and lab release, and that's we're gonna run it. Once that all those has been installed, we need to add or copy the official GPG key. So we're gonna run this step. Core FS and download, and we have our GPG. Because I had already installed, they ask if I want to overwrite, but I'm not doing it. Now the next step, we need to follow this installation that we're gonna run this second step. After you have this echo installed, we need to update our system in order to be sure that everything is working well. So we're gonna do sudo apt get update. And we finish it to update our release. Now, yes, we can install our Docker. In order to install our Docker will be this following step. sudo apt get install docker c, docker click and docker container. So all the application has been installed, we can check if it's really working well. In order to check if it's work well, we're gonna install the basic application that um, ever exists. Hello world. To install the hello world, we're gonna run the follow script. sudo docker run hello world. Perfectly if I appear hello from docker means that uh, hello world is work and docker is working. So now we need to install our portrait. To install our portrait, we'll follow the full installation. First, we need to create our volume for our portrait. So we're gonna do sudo docker run volume portrait underscore that. After created this volume, now we can install our portrait. In order to install our portrait, we're gonna follow this full script. Don't worry, this is script in the description, so you can only copy it and run its notation at all. After you finish to install your portrait, you need to go there in the portrait and create your user account and your password. Remember, to access our portrait, we're gonna need to log in with our machine IP address plus port 9000. Once that you finish create your user, you're gonna see this follow page. So we can open our primary and we come here in container and we don't have anything because I already delete hello world. So I can come here in stock and start to create our first stock. We're gonna come here and click add stock. The first stock that we're gonna create will be the cloud fair. So I can come here in this image for the cloud fair. Don't worry, this image is in the description. You can only copy this link and go there to access. Remember, this image will work with uh, ARM. So our system is ARM system. It's perfectly will work quite well. So we come here and we copy all this information, come here back in our portrait and we can start to modify it. What we need to modify, we need to define our IP key. I will not show my IP key because otherwise you guys can have access from my website and I don't want to do it. The zone that we're gonna use will be the sauberlab.com. My subdomain that I'm gonna use will be website and I want proxy, yes, I want proxy, so it will be true. And after this one, I will add my IP key and put deploy the stack. Once that I finish deploy the stack, here my Cloudflare will be working and that's in the Cloudflare website I will already show my new subdomain. Now the next step that we're gonna install will be the proxy manager. So we can come here and put add stock. And uh, to, in order to install our proxy manager, we come here in our proxy manager and put get start. And I come here and here it's all the configuration for my proxy manager. I don't know why they change it, but uh, before I have all the information for the database that you're gonna use and everything. But don't worry, I have a copy of it, so I can only come here and paste my proxy manager information. And the same Docker Compose will be available in the description of the video, so we can go there and copy this Docker Compose, it will be easy for you. So here I copy my Docker Compose script, and now I start to chew, modify and explain some information. First thing, the port that you're gonna use, as I told, you need to open the port 8 and port 443 to have access for HTTP protocol and HTTPS protocol, as well, port 81 to be able to access our proxy manager. 
Now the database information, so the database host will be database, the port that I'm using is 3306, and my user will be CyberLab and the password for the user is test123. The name of the database will be this one, and now the volumes. As I like to save everything in the same place, I will save everything in my fold MMT. I will define everything in the same location. Have defined my volumes, I need to be sure that my database information and my proximate information will be exactly the same, otherwise they will not connect to each other. Have everything in place, I can come here and put deploy the stack. It will take some minutes until they finish the load margin and install. So now I will do the installation for my last image. My last image will be the WordPress, the idea for the installation. So I can come here and put add a stock and define the name WordPress. Now I can come in the WordPress website and I can copy my volume. Here my volume, it's already here, everything. I can come back in my portrait and paste it. Remember, version 3.9 will work. Yes, will work because we are using the portrait 2.9.2. If we are using our older revision of portrait, it will not work. And you need to do as a Docker Compose directly in the put, but we're not gonna do it. One thing to consider, my SQL will work with ARM base? No, will not work with ARM base because they needed to work with uh, 86 and 64 bits. So I needed to change the image. The image that I'm gonna use will be MariaDB. In this case, I come here down and I will look for my Docker Compose and I copy the image name and change it for exactly the same name. As well, I come here and look what else I need to modify. If I look at the volume they use as a two dots config. So I cannot use the same volume that they specify here. So I need to change it for config. And now I think that I modify everything that I need to have. So now I need to define the location of my volume. I will be slash mnt and wordpress and slash. I will make the same volume for my wordpress configuration. I come here and modify it. And now I know that my WordPress database and my WordPress configuration data will be exactly the same place. If I want to backup in, in an external way, I can go there, only copy all this WordPress folder for another place and that I can only migrate for another computer or another server. Have everything in place. Now we need to modify my user password and my user password here. In this case, I will leave exactly the same because it's easy for me. Uh, if you are doing your own configuration, I really suggest that you change it because otherwise you're gonna be in trouble because it's not security enough. Have everything in mind, now we can come here and put deploy the stack. Wonderful, I just finished to install my WordPress. Now what we need to do, we come here in container and we're gonna check if everything's work. First, let's see what we have installed so far. We have the WordPress and the WordPress database. That's great. I have the proxy manager database and the proxy manager application, and I have my Cloudflare manage my IP address. So here I come in my WordPress and put in log and see that it's complete WordPress successful. So yes, has been installed all right, so it should be running. And the second thing that we need to check is the proxy manager and put in log and no issue at all, so should be working. And if they say renew complete, reload in the proxy manager, so it's everything is working well. So what we need to do, we need to come here environmental and primary and put exactly the same IP address that I have here. Only because I want to go in the container, click there and they will directly automatically for the port that I'm using. Have modified it, I can update environmental, come here in my container and go for the port 8.1. Once that I open the portal to one, they already appear this page. So I can come here my proxy manager website and I need to use this user and this password. And then I will follow this step to modify my user and create my user for manage this proxy manager. Wonderful, if you did everything correctly, you should have your user account that has been just created. And here in the dashboard proxy host, we can add our first website. The website that you're gonna add, we're gonna add a host, will be website dot sauberlab.com I click it and my port forwarding will be initially the same IP address for my machine. So it will be 132.226.214.65 and the port 8000. I can use my internal IP address, yes you can use, but in this case we're not gonna use. We come here in my SSL and we're gonna create a new SSL. We come here and put create a new SSL use a DNS challenge. I will select DNS provider. As I'm using the Cloudflare, I will put Cloudflare 
and now I need to modify my token. Don't forget to put the correctly token, otherwise they will not validate and don't do the properly challenge. Okay, once that I finish to configure my website, they should appear that's online. We can come here in details, edit, and I forgot to put WebSocket support, block common explode. I come here in SSL, I need to reinforce all these options. I don't know why they didn't keep it. And now the certification that I'm using is this one, website.cyberlab.com, and I come here and save. Have everything in place, now we're gonna check it. We can come here and put website. And wonderful, they read access it and they show website and now we start the configuration for my WordPress. I have here, I select the language that I want, English, and I come here and continue. Once that they finish to install, they read appear. Okay, everything is installed, wonderful. We can come here and log in. And wonderful, now you already have the WordPress installed working outside your house directly in Oracle Cloud. In this way, you will still be able to install more containers in your instance and you will have your WordPress working and everything should be all right. So guys, I hope that you like. In this video, I show how you can install the WordPress in your Oracle Cloud. In this way, using the always free, you have always free website. If you like this video, and think that was interesting, don't forget to leave your like, consider to subscribe for the channel, and see you next time. Bye.